the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. This is the account of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, Noah's sons, who themselves had sons after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Megar, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, and Titus. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Rephah, and Togamon. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Hashish, the Kittites, and the Rodanites. From these, the maritime peoples spread out into their territories by their clans within their nations, each with its own language. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Hut, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seba, Habila, Sarta, Raima, and Sarteka. The sons of Raima, Sheba, and Dida. Cush was the father of Nimrod who became a mighty warrior on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. That is why it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. The first centers of his kingdom were Babylon, Uruk, Akkad, and Calde in Shinnah. From that land he went to Assyria, where he built Nineveh, Rehoboth Ur, Kala, and Resin, which is between Nineveh and Kala, which is the great city. Egypt was the father of the Ludites, Anamites, Lamanites, Naphtalites, Patricites, Cashlahites, from whom the Philistines came, and Capturites. Canaan was the father of Sida, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Girgashites, Hivites, Archites, Sinites, Arbatites, Zimmerites, and Hamathites. Later, the Canaanite clan scattered, and the borders of Canaan reached from Sidon toward Gerar, as far as Gaza, and then toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Atma, and Zeboiah, as far as Lasha. These are the sons of Ham by their clans and languages, in their territories and nations. Sons were also born to Shem, whose older brother was Jacob. Shem was the ancestor of all the sons of Eber. The sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arphaxid, Luz, and Aram. The sons of Aram, Uz, Hod, Getha, and Meshach. Arphaxid was the father of Shelah, and Shelah the father of Eber. Two sons were born to Eber. One was named Pileh, because in his time the earth was divided. His brother was named Jotah. Jotan was the father of Almadan, Shelet, Hazarmethet, Jerah, Adoram, Uzar, Tikla, Obar, Abiliel, Sheba, Ophir, Abila, and Jobab. All these were sons of Jotan. The region where they lived stretched from Meshach toward Sephara in the eastern hill country. These are the sons of Shem by their clans and languages in their territories and nations. These are the clans of Noah's sons, according to their lines of descent within their nations. From these, the nations spread out over the earth after the flood. Hey, but I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. It for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who profess themselves to be Christians is to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for New Testament, one chapter at a time for the Old Testament, use the New Testament in the morning, and at um, nighttime use the Old Testament. And incorporate that as part of your prayer, meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So what I'm gonna do is by being an example, is actually go ahead and do that as well. Use it on YouTube. I recommend you do um, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's, let's get it one day at a time. You know, 
And what I like to do is I'm excited. I think I love it because we really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody that. And I encourage many of you to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I say, it's titled How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time with Your Morning Even Prayer. I use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words, especially when you get to the Old Testament. I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called How Much, it's called LifeWay Research Did It. How much of the Bible have you personally read? And you can see 10% none, 13% on a few sentences. 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I want you just to read the Bible, I want you to give it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you, you will grow in the things of God. And then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something. And then when you go to church, sir, when the man said, let's turn to such and such chapter, you can sit and say, I did that. <laughs> I read that chapter. And, and then you get some more comments on that. So you start to understand what the man is trying to teach, but you keep it in content of those scriptures as they come in. Amen? Hey. I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right, so get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, we will be able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. But what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you and see you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.